of Newtony. Now this was a bit scruffy, but that's what a bare metal respray does. They look like you. And we've used this out on the courses quite a while, so uh, all in all, we know she's a flyer. They love it, don't they, eh? They love it. Yeah. Viva Ukraine. Nice tracks on it too. Now, I must admit, we did make a little faux pas on this and it sat around for a little while and we didn't put, um, we didn't rub down the front mud guards. We, we, we rubbed them down, they looked okay, but you know what, they started to rust. So they got re-needle gunned and uh, put back in. So there you go. Attention to detail. Yeah, I wish they were all like that. Do you wish they were all like that? Let's see yeah. how this one's coming on. That's a beauty, that's come on great. But that was easy, it's only done seven miles. <clears throat> right, let's see how things are progressing. Front's all done. Side's getting there, very nice. I've got another needle gun exactly like the, the fast one coming. So we'll be, we'll be laughing, we're cooking with gas soon. Yeah, looking good. That rubber looks awful, doesn't it? Yeah, every one of them. I can buy that rubber from Hydromex. We probably ought to cut it in bits. We used it all much The old saw I found under the seat of a van is better than the jigsaw we've got. This is going to be part of the uh, that's encasing the um, what would you call it? Paddle. Yeah, yeah that, that's what I call it. <laughs> carousel paddle. That's what we're going to call it. He sounds posh. Yes, we're getting there. Well, I've had a productive day on the uh, paddle steamer. And um, yes, yes, the boat's not square and the wood was a bit bent, but all in all, it hasn't come out badly considering. But um, at the end of the day, will it work? Will the gearing be right? Will I be strong enough or will I be paddling like crazy and not really getting anywhere? That would be laughable. Who knows? I've heard the power washer going all morning and you can't argue with that. That is looking cleaner than, well, I mean, just look at it. No dirt at all, no green, no moss, no nothing. The tricky bit is underneath there. Oh, look at that, beautiful. So this is coming in for paint. It's not raining and there's a little breeze, so it's probably drying better out here than it is in the workshop. I can just see that bit there beginning to dry and that little dry bit will move across. And it has got raindrops. If it's got raindrops, maybe I should get it inside. And then this will be the next one for paint. Um, yeah, lovely vehicle. Let's go and have a look at this other one that was being stripped over the last two or three days. Let's have a look at this. Look at this whole thing that's come up for crushing. Yeah, I'll give 300 quid for it. Not bad, shame to crush it really, but there it is. Now, we're looking at this one, and this is the one that had the scabby paint on it, but in actual fact, it was uh, very low hours. So, um, yeah, it's looking very brown. Yeah, doing it with discs is okay, but the discs are expensive and you never really get a lasting job. Whereas if you can needle gun every scrap off, Christ, it even kind of keys the surface. If you look carefully, see that little pattern? That really makes the paint stick. Yeah, looking good. Very nicely. Very nicely. Are we running that over then? No, we're not. The Are you body, sure? The body is to come off. You're going to take the, oh God, got to take the body off? Yeah. What, change the whole loom from front to rear? No, the loom is all right. Use your valves. And you've got to take the body off. Whose idea was that? Land Rovers. Oh God, he's painting his boots. No wonder his boots are that colour. They're poo brown. Poo brown. Loads of fun spraying these things. It's just loads of fun. It's more fun than painting a big fence with, with uh, whitewash. Do you remember Tom Sawyer? Nah, probably not. Anyway, it's, um, it's looking good, it's looking good. Okay, so it's time I brought in this other four feet for to be drying. The wind's got round it and it's gone lovely, but the, um, the battery connector strap um, is a bit, a, bit, a bit shit, so um, I'm, I'm modelling one. I'm remodelling one to, tight, to grip tight on the miners. 
come and have a look. Basically what happens is um, it can get a bit loose on the old, uh, so what I do is I file that out, get it nice and clean, then I run a grinder between there and I make it so the gap is bigger here and then when you put the bolt in it will pinch it up tighter. It's not rocket science but I've saved another battery and these Yahoo batteries that we're having are very expensive but very good. Private crush tomorrow for someone called Hugh. Apparently Roxanne rang up to uh, possibly cancel it because of the weather but didn't realise they've all got hotels lined up. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, that doesn't work does it? Right, let's see what needs to be done. Well, the squad sub needs to be got out of the way and the scrap thrown in it. That needs to be dragged off somewhere good. And then we need to drive a car out in all that slop, which could be a bit tricky. So I think we need to pull the um, Saab with the 432 because I don't want to get me digger dirty. I don't even know where me digger is. Yeah, I could use me digger. Let's go and have a look.